So the calm before the storm, the first semi-final of this Qatar PSA World Squash Championship 2014. Gaultier kicks it off. this event as well, it's, I've seen Gaultier probably play more lobs PJ than uh, I ever have on a consistent basis. Especially after that first round, Joey, the real key factor for Gaultier is if he can yeah, remain nice. in a calm, relaxed state of mind. And when he plays that way, and out. he's almost Wonder. impossible to beat because he's so quick and his retrieving ability is well, the best on tour. Two and pretty out. classy one rallies, one a lot shorter than the other. But uh, equal to the task, both of these guys. Interesting, you know, over the last few years, PJ and people have talked about the modern game. The lower tin, the glass courts have been in, in play for a long time, and obviously the racket heads have got bigger, so a lot more power generated. But in the last couple of years, with this batch of players, I call it really the golden age at the moment. We're very lucky to commentate on all these top guys playing so well at the same time. So many of them now are using so much more height, and it's kind of in that way, I mean, it's still exactly the same game that was played 30 or 40 years ago. Obviously different conditions in that way, but the principles are still the same. There's still a lot of variation in pace, but I think particularly this bunch have maximized on their game and looked to really utilize everything. They've all done it. They've all done it to compete with each other. And it just gives us a really well-rounded game of squash, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's that. Absolutely right, Joey. We've seen all angles and Inches of the court covered very early on in this first semi-final. 2-1. Ideal rally for Gregory Gautier. Now it's not just a relentless fast pace. Matthew, who's renowned for that, Rami Ashore is as well, but they use so much height on the front wall and you'll see Ashore playing volley lobs that he, he actually won an outright point against Borja Golan in the back from that. It's such a skilled shot. So there was a, a period of time, Joey, where so much emphasis was on pace and yeah, sheer hard hitting. hard hitting. But the volume. skill of the game is now being introduced back in, and that's why we're seeing this new in, in sort of increase yes, of quality. And the players have lifted the bar once again. There will always be that relentless pace and increase in volleying and power hitting, but now we've got this tactical defensive play and variation. It's such a joy to commentate on. Everyone talks about Rami Ashore's no. short game, but just watch the quality of his length and width hitting. Right box, 3-1. This is a good start from Gregory Gaultier. He needs a good start. I think the first game for Gaultier is, is very important for his mind. Rami Ashore does have a habit of playing probably some of his best squash when he is down and out, particularly at game ball down. there from Rami Ashore. That was certainly calmed down any nerves Hand out, from Ashore. Two, three. <laughs> Watch the finish here. Very steep. Lob not quite good enough and Ashore making Gaultier pay. So the Frenchman knows fully well that the attention to detail has to be there. It's not getting cheap points from Ashore. Thanks, 
for coming. That was beyond severe. Again, it's not a good enough lob. It's come off the side wall. <laughs> so hitting the side wall is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing, but that was pulverised. Yeah. It's a loose shot from Ashore. Normally it's one of his yeah. trademark. <laughs> his face, uh, Romeo Shaw's face. He was uh, really smiling at that one. Hand out. 4 3. So much more energy about him in this semi final. It's a good get from Gaultier. Still in the rally. It's good work from the Frenchman. It's going to be a let ball. Yes, let. 4 3. Surprised we didn't see an appeal Frank there Oxford's. from Remy Shaw. There was one pickup in this rally from Gautier. He looked slightly dubious in the front right corner. Looks like he, he just got it. Got it. Yeah, yep. he did. He needs to do the straight drop shot, PJ. He's got away with it there, Gaultier. He's got away with it, but I feel still he's not confident putting that straight drop on the forehand side, and he needs to do that. Left box. Can't five, hit three. cross court on the racket of Ashore. Like I say, he has got away with that rally. 5 3. High quality start here, PJ. These players are, are not feeling their way into this at all. <laughs> Well, just as you'd expect, I mean, top four seeds in the semi-finals of a major event. Five, you'd three. expect the standard to be pretty high, and they're all coming into this semi-final playing very well indeed. Well, the let ball, Gaultier having a bit of a stare at his uh, entourage there. It's not going to make much difference. Central referee for this match is Roy Gingell. That yeah, is really brilliant. pretty good. We talk, we talk about that front right-hand corner. I haven't seen Gaultier play a cross-court drop like that. 6-3. He's lobbed from that area. Clever, clever shot from the Frenchman. 6-3. Shows a, a decent sign of confidence. He does look extremely relaxed tonight. Yeah, he does. Gregory Gaultier. Improvised movement. He was looking down and out on this shot, Rami Ashore, and just used the wrist and the skill. Just watch his movement. He commits, Hand pulls out. through it. Four, Very awkward movement for him, but his racket able to do the talking. 4 6, mid stage of this first game. Oh, 
there's the hold. Gaultier had to check to make sure the possible straight drop shot from a short. Five, six. We see the swing here showing the drop and then racket head speed cross court. Oh, that is tight. <laughs> Hand out, seven, five. Good squeeze, eh? Good pressure from Gautier, not panicking. It's an important point for Gautier there because the Egyptian was starting to build a little bit of momentum. And, he's, and that's the danger. Quick return. And out, six, seven. You see, it's not a terrible service by any means. Goodness. Wow. It's well lifted. Let's regain a bit of extra time on the tee. Let six seven court, please. I think he's saying something about the floor. Yeah, we can stop. Yeah, we can stop. Yeah, I was looking to stop the rally, maybe it too. If he dives, or yeah, so because of the dive here, can we you can see the body? Can we makes show him where to clean, please? A lot of sweat. You can see the big sweat Is patches the there. Okay? Now, Gaultier was saying to the referee, Roy Gingell, that if that happens, you can see where it's is moving right into it. He's aware. Can they just stop the rally? And that's and Roy Gingell said, as a sensible scenario, of course, yes. So it's good that Gaultier has acknowledged that, and uh, Roy Six, Gingell seven. equal to the task because we have seen shockers in the past where players have slipped on sweat and ended up. Well, Gregory himself, didn't he? Yeah. Potential career ending injury for the oh, Frenchman. Pick up. Decision on the pick up, please. Pick up was good. <laughs> oh, just asking <laughs> about the pick up of a short. That pick up was brilliant. That's a real pet peeve of Remy Shield. Well, it is. He doesn't like the opponents accusing him of uh, cheating or picking up double bounces. Well, it's his kind of. Uh, Honourable philosophy, he gets balls back, and as he said earlier on in this tournament, he calls them if they're down. So it's starting to hot up a bit now as we hit the business, and the quality has been superb. Look at that. Yes, let seven all. Just sense now that the gear is starting to go in. Uh, that extra gear, Rami Ashour stepping up a little bit more, PJ, as we hit this. Uh, oh. How many times have we seen that this event on this court? Well, we have. It's a new court here at the Khalifa Stadium. And out, 8-7. Some slightly questionable joins and strange bounces have been pretty apparent up. throughout the week. That's another pretty decent return from Ramir Shaw. It's his trademark, the Egyptian. And out, 8 all. Well, I don't think it was as good as it had, has been in the past, but so Gaultier letting Shaw off, 8 all. We're going to have a very explosive couple of rallies here, Phil. Slightly heavy on the drop there from Gautier. I just think he's taking too much time on it. Get it in there quicker. Well, the pace is Beautiful increased shot now. from Gautier. That is a brilliant lob. It's 
all the variety. All the variety. This is the best squash we've seen so far in this event in terms of the quality. It's been a s Oh, this is... Oh, he's done well. <laughs> he's played it. Just stayed in. Oh, that's tight. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what a rally. What a rally. A mammoth rally. Mammoth rally between these two titans of the game. Gaultier certainly checking his system there. He's gone up to the front wall to get a breather. He's not in a rush to return service here at all. How can you produce a rally like that? A short gagging to serve. Gaultier is taking so much time here, PJ. 9-8. Be a let ball. Yes, let. Nine eight. Well, he's certainly feeling the effects it's of this stunned, first game. He's Gregory been stunned Gaultier, by you a can bit tell of a he's in serious oxygen debt there. Yeah. He's playing the ball. Good to see. Oh, they both are, Joe. It's a great first game. And there's the unforced error. It wasn't a great shot from Ashore, but the reward of the rally previously with all the physical work is paying off for Ashore. Game ball. Gaultier off balance. So two game balls for this Maverick. And that is brilliant. That was brilliant. Appreciated by Ashore. Look at the balance of Gaultier on this shot. Watch his balance Nine there. Ten. Look at that. Perfectly poised on that one. What a cracking first game. 18 minutes. PJ trying to push that ball closer to the front wall when he played this. Ten all, played Slightly by mistimed it. Just trying to egg Airports. it on. Each player has one video review available. Well, for the squash neutral, you couldn't ask for a better scenario in the first game. Ten all. Exciting times. Yes, let. Uh, not too sure about this one, to be yes, honest. Let, ten all. Remy Ashore wants to play the ball here. He's going to go for a review. Yes, let decision. First video review. I'm not sure that he could have hit the ball here, Joey, as the ball comes back through the middle from Gautier. It's very tight from Ashore there. It takes his space, the Egyptian. He wants to play the ball, but Gautier looks as though he's in his swing there. Oof, there's no way he can no. play the ball there. That's got to be overturned. I think if he wanted to hit, oh, that's going to, yeah. It's a big Gortier actually decision. moved into the line. It's a huge decision. I think he's near he, his yeah, hand there from that angle there. Decision. Yeah, it's the right decision. It's the right decision. So the overall occurring. Stroke Ashore, handout 11-10. Mr. Ashore has one review remaining. 
So a third game ball opportunity for Ramia Shaw. Yes, let. That's going to be a let ball. Right box, 11-10, game ball. Talking about free-flowing squash, you can't see a better example. All, both these guys, apart from this situation here, have been playing the ball. It's been superb. Right from the first rally. Oh, that's just too good. It was a sloppy shot there from the short. Portier just takes his space, puts the ball into Call that front these. left corner, and he's shaking his head. He yeah, knows no. that that was a poor return. It was, a, for his level, dreadful. Another opportunity squandered. Gaultier making him pay. Keeping nice and calm here, the Frenchman. Hand out. 11 all. You can almost feel the tension in the auditorium here. So many Egyptian fans. That's tight. It's a great shot. And what he's done on this, something that actually players like to do to Gaultier. Slightly heavier drop shot tight into the side wall. And Rami Shaw, like Gaultier, loves to rip into those front corners. Slightly 11, overstepping that. Ball. He's done his homework himself, Gaultier. First game ball for the Frenchman. Can he take it first time? Gautier. He's making Remy Shaw run round the long way here. Well, on the last one, yeah, Remy Shaw took some space ball. there. Not a huge amount, but on that backhand side, a Shaw was coming right round and in again. So there's a lot of movement, but he was playing the ball. Well, we've only had 23 and a half minutes, PJ. That's about <laughs> as long as uh, most club players play a full match. Let 12-all. It's a welcome break by both players. You'd have to feel that Gaudier has done the lion's share of the work so far in this 24-minute first game. You feel that the Frenchman has to win this first game. He's going to make his way through to his fifth final.
chance is not going to get let. I don't think it's going to see it be a review, but he, he will review it. Out here, Can you Gautier? review, please, Mr. Gaultier, on the no let decision? Yeah, strings have gone. Gregory Gaultier hasn't conceded. He's just gone out to get a uh, fresh racket. Strings went in that rally. Strings. Well, you know what it's like, some players, when the string goes, they look to play the man to get the to get net the, ball. Get so the net ball, yep. I was pretty keen to, to find Rami Ashour on that one. More that decision. Appel. So the original decision being... 13-12, left box. Mr. Fourth Gordy game ball for Ashour. Game ball. Well, he's always doing these little squats and quick foot movements, Ashour. 13-12. So another dive from a short. Mr. Gaultier, Mr. Gaultier, please do not take your opponent's space. Okay? Yeah, but do not take your opponent's space. Okay? You must give him access to the ball. And there, Roy Gingell making the same point, which Rami Ashour was playing. Do not see he's hit the ball and he's moved in there. And uh, PJ will explain that's kind of in squash terminology. It's a block. Yeah, we're going to see it. We have an injury, so self-inflicted injury. We just heard uh, Roy Gingell stating that uh, Remy Shaw has a blood Mr. Hirsch -Shaw injury. Has three minutes. I think we saw that with one of the dives. It must come, must be from a previous because Remy Shaw already had a plaster on the elbow. Yeah, well, that's going over. So the the blood injury. Uh, you allow time to staunch bleeding, cover wound, or change clothing. Allow play to continue once bleeding stopped. Uh, what you ha the situation is that if blood is shown again in that Thank area, if, the, if it's visible, then that Thank player you. has to forfeit that game. And then if that happens one more time, you have to forfeit the match. So what you do see is a lot of plaster being put on and then coloured dark, so the blood, it can even be visible through well, the white. the dive there, just as Rami dove to try and pick that backhand uh, drop up from... The thing is, though, it's still white. What I'm saying is he's just put another white bit over. You see a lot of them colouring in the pen, the physios or the, the medical teams, or even putting a bit of a I'm stocking out. over it. All. It is on his racket arm, which uh, can cause a bit of a, an irritation problem. Well, let's see what uh, happens here. 13 all. Cannon from Gregory Gaultier. Tell he wants to go a bit skits. You usually would give this a huge fist pen, but uh, that was completely and utterly caned. Look at that. What a shot. That's a slam dunk if I've ever seen one, PJ. 14-13. Oh, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. What a shot to play at this stage of the game, Joey. Gautier in the receiving end, picking up four or five outright winners from Rami Ashour, but the finish 
Absolutely stunning. Absolutely brilliant. Gaultier is trying to make signs at the referee about the elbow of Ramia Short. I think he just needs to concentrate on his own game. Stop uh, trying to bring that to the attention of the referee. 14 all. That's too good. Sat up for him. It's a real gift, and he was going to finish that all day long, a short. So much time. 15 14, game ball. Just looking at himself in the reflection. 15 14. I'm actually losing, losing the plot on how many uh, game balls he's had. Yes, lad. Yeah, there's plenty of effort there. Yes, lad. 15 14 game ball. Left box. Clear left. Still in the way. This is where Gregory Gautier just needs to be careful. He's been superb to this stage of the game as we get to the tense times in this late stage of the first two or three incidents where he's starting to get involved with the referees. And that means his mind and focus isn't on the game itself. So has to be very careful, Gautier, now. That's too good. It's too good from Gregory Gaultier. An excellent combination. He squeezed the tight ball and opened up the volley. Court, please. Hand out. Well, he's after him about the blood. If we see this here, he's trying to help him up, but it's kind of, you see the plaster hanging off, and he's looking at the referee about this blood, but there's no visible blood because it's a graze. But he keeps looking back at the referee, more. Gaultier. 15 all. <laughs> Sounds like a tennis match. He can play that all day long. That's consistent. Very consistent. Well, he's looking for the stroke, isn't he? Of course he is. He was playing knees in the early stages of the first game, and he could hit that now. We see it here. He should have hit that cross court. Or straight, or wherever it was. He had the whole front wall to play. So good refereeing. above the tin and it bounces out from the side wall but the finish again from Remy Ashore. And out 16-15 game ball. How many game balls has he had PJ? This is number five if my memory serves in the world. I'm losing six count. or seven. I just needed to feed off of your <laughs> mistake. <laughs> it just gives me a bit of a gauge. 35 minutes that's all we've had for this first game. And it's done it, Ramia Shaw's done it. What an epic first game. The crowd going absolutely bonkers. A bit of life in the Khalifa complex. And rightly so, been spoilt rotten by the quality of that squash from the game onset. Ashore, 17 15. Ashore leads one game to love. 35 minutes of quite brilliant squash. Ramia Shaw takes it in the ever long tie break, 17 15. He leads Gaultier by one game to love. Well, what an amazing start to this first semi-final. Gregory Gautier and Remy Short 
never disappoint when it comes to the big stage. Stunning squash from both parties, but Remy Shaw really has put Gregory Gautier through the mill. The retrieving ability of Gautier has been called into question right from the onset. Remy Ashore is finding his length and width quite brilliantly, slowing the pace down at times, then injecting some stunning pace himself into the front corners especially. Just got ever so slightly untidy towards the late stage of this first game, but Remy Ashore really is starting to settle down now. All important one game to love lead for the Egyptian.